Do it. Yeah, sorry, Jan. Great. So, so yeah, this is me. And um, the idea of this Tana Jam, as uh, Andrew uh, said, is to you know show you up some examples of templates, but also to talk about uh, that um, concept, right, uh, within the Tana environment. And uh, maybe a good way is to show uh, some of the ones that we have uh, already shared. Uh, this is my case as well, but there are awesome ones uh, already within the um, uh, the Tana's website that maybe now we can go through as well a bit. Uh, so I don't know, Andrew, if you had some kind of you know mm, uh, predefined <laughs> uh, structure of how should uh, uh, I proceed, or uh, you just want uh, I, I jump sharing my uh, screen and maybe we can go through something. I don't know. Let me know or yeah, uh, I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Let's just start the demo and we'll go from there. As usual, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh oh, I have disabled. Uh, probably you have to. Yeah, no, the... yeah, I already fixed it. Yeah. Perfect. So let's go. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. So let me put all of you here and then I can see you on my second screen. Great. So, well, um, for uh, the ones that it's probably your first uh, Tana Jam, or I don't know, guys, uh, if you jumped into Tana um, just last days or uh, last weeks, because I, I don't remember now how many weeks this uh, feature is already, but probably three or four. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this is the Tana templates library, uh, and here you will be able to find some first examples. Uh, for sure, this uh, repository uh, will uh, grow over time uh, with other uh, examples. The idea of these examples is that are, uh, mm, let's say, curated by, uh, by Tana uh, in a way that you can, uh, let's say, uh, Mm, it's like reliable mm, somehow um, examples to start using, you know? Uh, then uh, uh, from that point, of course, you can build anything else. So this is just a few of them. Um, uh, there's also a nice resource here, which is called Tana Templates. And this is a post with a step-by-step quite uh, simple and straightforward how uh, you will be able to start sharing your own ones, you know? And uh, this is a very nice resource, uh, but today we will do it uh, uh, here uh, on a live uh, demo, okay? So let's go here. And for example, my case, uh, my case I shared uh, a template here, which is probably not a template for, there's, we have, we had some uh, discussion regarding this, um, which is not a template for, mm, to start from the scratch using Tana, let's say, because there's also an interesting discussion that probably uh, later we, we, we could have, uh, which is um, uh, how to start well, which should be the best way to start using Tana, uh, you know, which I already have an answer, which is just jump, uh, you know, without swimsuit, uh, without anything, just jump. And this is the best way, you know, but okay, once you are probably a few days, I would say a few weeks, you know, uh, uh, playing with that, uh, trying to, you know, uh, combine, uh, your own workflows, professional, personal ones, no matter what, which ones, with, with that, you start feeling, let's say, that you need, well, you, you, you could have the different feelings, let's say, <laughs> and one of them is that you feel overwhelmed, a bit lost, and so on. And this is quite usual, uh, but you will go through that, um, uh, you know, point, uh, let's say, uh, all of us, uh, we went through that, you know. 
so my, the, the, the purpose of my template is to help on that particular uh, point, you know, on your journey. Uh, it, of course, it's not for everybody. Some people don't like uh, so much the structure. So some other others uh, they need it. So this is for those ones that they, they think that uh, they need some kind of uh, basic structure to enable them to go through that journey of building their own uh, information management management systems in a let's say more not reliable but more consistent way. So this is the purpose of this template I, that I will show you here. Um, there is also a, a video here that you can uh, go through and so on, but let's go directly because if this is a template, uh, what, what should I do right now? You know, So just click, click here. This is the hyperlink here that Tana guys uh, enabled. So what happened? You know, So let's go through this step-by-step. Step. And once you do this, Directly, a new instance of uh, Tana workspace starts. Okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, do you see my web browser? Fine. Yeah. 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 We can okay. See. There's this uh, cool uh, white uh, dynamic dot that I always uh, I, I got in love in the very beginning, <laughs> and and there's this uh, pop up uh, window here in which you see some information. If you are pretty new to this uh, uh, tool, of course, there are some concepts that probably you don't know what they are. So let's say that we don't know anything uh, and we just uh, try to click uh, wherever <laughs> it's possible to click on, you know? So uh, there are two uh, places. Uh, the first one is the target, let's say the destination workspace. So which means that uh, the idea behind templates is that you will use a template, uh, so but you will create a copy, an individual copy of that template, disconnected from the source. This is the basic idea. So you will clone it. This is another way to uh, to call uh, that step. So uh, you should um, choose which is your target. And here uh, I have some targets here. I created for the Tanajam uh, 14 uh, another workspace, uh, Tanajam 14. And then uh, I will add uh, that template within the home of that workspace. Okay. So once you do that, you are already inside an individual copy of that template that it's totally disconnected from the source which is the source, the one that uh, Tana uh, is sharing in the end. It's not Tana, it's uh, the author of, it's the author of that template. Sorry, someone is asking? I heard someone probably, no, okay. No, I think there was probably Mike muted, but uh, since we're, we're just have a pause, I have a quick question, David, where do you yeah, sure. just to put new template? Do you put them in your main workspace or you create like a separate workspace, something like a playground first to learn and maybe? This is exactly what I meant. Probably I, 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 wasn't, I, I wasn't clear. Uh, once I, if you want, I can't repeat it, but uh, once uh, you are here, let's repeat it. No, Sorry, no, no. Because... I mean, I, I mean uh, in general, what's your approach? Not like ah, in okay, in general. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, in general, not yeah, in yeah. The, okay. Like, uh, yeah, this is demo, but, yeah. this is interesting that uh, Andrew also highlight highlights this because this is, was the next step that I wanted to uh, to tell you uh, as well. Uh, in general, uh, from a risk management, let's say, point of view, <laughs> it's. Uh, always good that uh, when you want to play, just create a separate room to play with things, you know, uh, because especially within that uh, era of virus, let's say. So a template could be also virus uh, in a good way, uh, but could be. So uh, I uh, recommend that you create some kind of uh, secondary or um, uh, additional workspace or some call it lab or whatever, uh, you know, and then you paste there whatever you want, you know, uh, and, and you start playing, 
But this is probably once the, uh, in the very beginning, when you are still not so experienced using templates and so on. Probably uh, once you are more skilled, uh, even creating them, you can already choose your, let's say, main workspace because you know what you are pasting there. You know, but even though uh, my first suggestion is that you always uh, choose something uh, in the middle, you know, like a lot. And then from there, it's very easy to, uh, uh, to pick um, anything you want from there and then uh, just move it. Uh, we will go through the step-by-step -step how to move that. It's very easy, you know, so yeah. So in this case, Tanajam 14, it's this kind of lab, let's say, okay? Um, and uh, um, we are inside that template, but if I click here, uh, well, I already had um, a, a, an existing node here, which is uh, something that I, I wanted also to show you probably later about the discussion about which which type of templates we could uh, create here, if, if, uh, if Andrew uh, agrees. And here we have our template. As you can see here, this is a, uh, title of the template, also the version, because could be different versions over time. We will talk about that uh, later on. And here we have the structure of this particular template. Probably I will make an, uh, a zoom. Uh, now, as you can see, I am accessing uh, this template through the web browser that jumped here. But if I go, for example, it's also web browser, of course, but this is the uh, Microsoft Edge app here. Let's say, yeah, exactly. As you can see uh, here, there's also already the template um, inside the this workplace. Let's go here, let me close here, perfect. So, the structure of this template, it's something that uh, more or less most of the templates that Tana shared um, uh, have in common, which is um, you have different tabs and you go through them. It has the look of like, let's say a mini app, more or less, in which uh, there are some uh, features uh, and you will go through um, the different instructions or uh, in this case, notes, you know? So let's just start with uh, uh, the purpose of this template. As I, I, I told you, this is, well, this is a, like a story of how to describe uh, why we created this template. This is for users that are already been uh, playing with this tool for, few, for a few time. And so you can go through uh, this outline um, uh, way uh, through uh, the whole uh, set of instructions here. This is the welcome. So uh, probably you want as an author to, I don't know, um, for example, in this case, I just wanted here to highlight, which is the, let's say, required background that probably you uh, would have before uh, playing with this uh, template, but in other case could be another stuff. And here, um, like a summary of the different steps that you will go through. Uh, in this case, it's quite easy. There's a problem to solve and uh, the how to solve that particular problem, you know? Uh, so let's go through the problem to solve, which, which are the issues blocking your progress and so on. We have described it before. And uh, here there's uh, a way to, for example, and this is what this template uh, is addressed. Uh, I don't know how many of you here are using already Tana, probably most of you, you know, and I would like now <laughs> to see, not, not I, I mean that uh, if, if I would be able to see all of the, a schema, uh, you know, um, uh, from your main workspace altogether, 
probably it would be something quite interesting in terms of uh, color palette, you know, because of uh, uh, every super tag has a color, but let, let, let's find the structure behind, imagine that you want to share your, the, your schema to someone else and you ask him or her, what, uh, what's your, not the opinion, what do you understand from my schema, you know? And probably they have to go one by one, you know, uh, reading the different super tags and so on, because it's based on personal knowledge management, but not exclusively, because you can use Tana for any other purposes as well. So let's try to have this uh, wider perspective on how to build the main core of that tool, which is the super tags, you know, uh, in a, let's say, in a structured way. Uh, so how could we convert this into something that we can tell to another person? And uh, at a glance, uh, they have a quite um, uh, fast idea of who, which is your, uh, you know, uh, purpose or goal uh, structuring uh, your data and information. Okay. Uh, and, but look, I will not see what you have within your schema, but these are some examples that you could have here let's this is well it's a structure but this is a flat list but could be like this or longer or with even with uh duplicated items uh there it's, uh there's a, a plenty of different uh, examples that uh, uh, we could show up here um another example source for a book, source for a paper, source for a website, source for, and you have always that particular property, you know, uh, for different types of uh, uh, sources, but then uh, you realize that the, the concept of source is always the same, but probably you start thinking on different, uh, you know, in, uh, the uh, differences between uh, the attributes within one source and another. So you start identifying things after those first days and weeks, just from the bottom up, uh, you know, creating things, you know, and which is, this is not bad uh, that you realize from things, but, the, 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 but you are creating a, a snowball that is getting bigger and bigger, and then you need to handle it, you know? Um, Another example, it's you somehow identify over time as well that there are some of your categories that are related. You also realize that you are reusing some of the characteristics from your categories in other categories and so on. Um, this is another example, uh, blog post, uh, author, topic, URL, date, web paper. Again, author, but here we have year, uh, publisher, URL, topic again, but this is topics and not topic, this kind of stuff, you know? Uh, and it starts cluttering probably your uh, system. Um, so suddenly after all this, you could feel like this guy, you know, or not. Um, so how to solve this? So the idea here is uh, to create some basic structure for uh, those uh, categories, let's say, they, that in Tana they are called super tags, you know? Um, and there's a, there's a place that Tana designed for that, which is called a schema. For those ones that they don't know where is the schema uh, within Tana, if I open here and I go to the main workspace, uh, in Tana, you will find the schema, the library, settings, and so on. So we have this place called schema. Now here, uh, it's empty. You can use it or not uh, in the end. Uh, for me, this is quite useful that we have those, let's say, buckets. Uh, we have the schema one and we have the library one, you know, but now we are talking about the schema. So here within the schema is where you can build that uh, scaffolding structure, let's say, uh, to help you uh, using Tana um, 
um, uh, and, and, and being more efficient. Uh, so I will close this to keep it uh, cleaner. And uh, this, this is the place. Uh, this is the place where all super tag definitions are safe when creating them. Field definitions can also be safe as a scheme if you choose, blah, blah. We will see. Uh, but itself, if you put things uh, inside that schema, you will not solve uh, the problem that you have, right? Uh, so you need to create that structure. Which is that structure? Well, it, it, it's based on uh, object-oriented programming, but even if we are not using that word, uh, I think it's pretty straightforward to understand. Uh, the system explained, um, let's go here. You will have the step-by-step, -step, but... Let's go here. And this is the basic structure for that schema. So we are dividing uh, what we will use throughout our system in two particular concepts. One concept is the, the based on that uh, object-oriented programming uh, idea that in which everything is an object from the reality, abstract, or, or not, uh, everything would be defined as an object, right? Uh, this is quite abstract, okay? But you, if you start thinking on, uh, starting with this uh, action or with this bear is A, then you can um, organize the, those different objects uh, depending on which is your background, uh, work, uh, hobbies or whatever, your own domains and are your ones, uh, your own ones, you know. So uh, here within this template, you will find two different ways of analyze this. One, it's uh, what you see here, which is probably not quite user friendly because it's uh, too neutral, but um, I will guide you a bit here to understand uh, we have different uh, ways to uh, store our super tags here. One could be creating a node, uh, N O V E, okay? Uh, and then you create your super tags. But as you can see here, we are using another feature of TANA. This is why this is not for uh, um, beginners. You need to. to, to to, to play a bit about uh, with the different ways uh, that Tana provides you uh, to visualize your data. And one way is to visualize uh, your, your data through the use of tables, okay? So this is um, a view mode, which is called table, but you also have cards, you also have uh, tabs, and even a flat list, you know? For this case, we have a table, and as a table, we can create uh, different uh, rows and columns. And these columns uh, could be based on uh, new, uh, let's say, attributes, metadata, or whatever you want to call it, or based on what we call, within the TANA, fields, okay? And these fields are the characteristics, you know, that we want to add to one particular object. So let's say that Andrew is an object. It's a guy with a cap uh, living in and working probably in Tel Aviv, you know, uh, and I am using Andrew SuperTag a lot, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then I need to define uh, some of those um, uh, characteristics uh, that uh, I will want to highlight every time that I'm using Andrew SuperTag. You know, so uh, this is uh, a way to um, have at a glance, uh, uh, um, uh, let's say a picture of each of those super tags that I will use, but in a organized way. That's all, that's everything. This is not a, a, a very big idea. This is just organization, that's all. So here we have one simple way to organize, which is a, uh, main category, and then a flat list of those super tags. And then we have added here different fields in 
Uh, I will talk to you um, um, uh, later about this field called tax. This is a system field, which means that it's a field that you, you don't create. Tana is providing it, okay, uh, and has some particular uh, features. There's, there are other two columns here, create a time and last modified one, which is quite interesting if you uh, are the curator of those tags and probably if it's is your own workspace, uh, it makes sense. And then uh, the last one, it's a column called references, which is based on a query. You know that also Tana has another feature which is called a query. It's, we can call it live query, live search. It's a way to show up uh, the different uh, items that we are creating, different nodes that are uh, related to uh, some super tag field or whatever uh, metadata that we have uh, included with thing over information item, okay? In this case, this is empty because this is a template. If I go to a different category, you can um, apply what we call uh, a nested section, which is, well, uh, I create another note, you know, indented here because I like folders and subfolders. That's all. It's easy. Folders and subfolders to organize information. This is quite all, you know, but you can use notes as a folder as well, you know, just to provide that um, uh, scaffolding for all this, you know. And here we have a subsection in which you can also add your different super tags. And here, uh, I will show you how to get uh, used to this um, field, the system field called tax. Okay. Uh, this field is included here to uh, show you how you can create a, what we call super tax extensions. And this is to solve that problem that we were describing in the beginning uh, when uh, you have uh, an object, you know a book, or you have even a parent object, which is um, uh, like a, a web uh, source, you know, something that you find on internet, you know, which is different than a physical book. So imagine that you start thinking on how to describe uh, the different things that I find out uh, uh, within internet, you know, and then you start, um, uh, identifying different categories, but as uh, 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 they're, they're, all of them they have in common some particular base, you know. So let's define that base. This is the super tag base. This is what all of those uh, web sources they have in common. Let's say, and then you can start adding here the bar um, variances, you know, that you um, are uh, listing here. What's could be a, a website, could be a forum, could be anything, you know? And with this column here, you will see which is that inheritance uh, relationship, you know? Uh, so as uh, I see here, super tag B111, which is quite complicated. Now I will jump into a, 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 an example. Uh, it's extending, you know, this veins, you know? And at the same time, this other super tag here is extending the base. Okay. Now, the third one. Uh, David, sorry, can I jump in with a quick question? Sure, uh, of course. Uh, I see your tags are now hosted inside these nodes, but I remember you were showing like a previous yeah. question. It was a reference. Can you tell us like why do you uh, this... decide? This this here you mean you mean uh, these ones that are references and here not or which ones are here? Yeah, yeah. The, where, where the title is, I see where the title is is just is not a reference. It's basically a tag. Basically, a tag is there, right? It, it, yeah. It's gonna keep it there. And I remember uh, on your previous demo on the previous gem, you you show it and there was a reference. So I'm really interested. Why do you? Okay, decide? I'm correct. Uh, maybe I maybe I'm missing it. But... No, well, I don't know because I don't remember what I showed before. Uh, but uh, I will tell you about this for for the rest of people here, right? Uh, uh, we uh, now we are just reviewing the template, you know. 
but um, this template, remember what we have done in the very beginning, which was adding that template uh, within the home of your main workspace, right? But I mentioned that we have the schema that it's the, let's say, designed place for those super tags, you know? So if now we go to the schema, super tags are not there yet, you know? So there's a further step uh, needed here uh, to do that. Uh, so, mm, so far, what we have is over. Yeah, but also like, uh, do you recommend uh, anyway using this template to create super tags still in schema and reference them there, or do you recommend create them inside the structure? Okay, uh, I recommend them inside the structure, but we should not forget that uh, the structure is living within the schema as well. So, which means that what we will do is what you can see right now. Um, uh, let me go here. And if I press um, a common or common or control uh, K, get link to node, for example, and then I go where I go. Uh, should I go to the schema? Yeah, I go to the schema and control V. Now this is a reference, but what I can do here, it's control key and bring reference node here, okay? So now uh, what we have is everything in the place that it should be theoretically within the schema, you know? And now if I go again here, as you can see, sorry, because maybe it's, I will make a zoom. No, no, it's, it's uh, yeah. Now, 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 it's a, now it's a reference. So in the end, it's about organization. Uh, Tana will work uh, seamlessly no matter if you have it here, there, wherever, uh, you know, it's about, uh, that's why I, I said that this kind of system that could, uh, uh, that for some people is like, well, you are over complicating stuff and so on. It's not for everybody, you know, it's for those ones that they need some kind of uh, minimum uh, top-down structure to enable them working uh, more guided or something like this, that's all. Uh, let's see this with some particular example instead of using, uh, you know- David, um, can I ask a question fast? Sure, yeah. I've tried to recreate what you do somewhat on the fly here and a point of confusion I come to is okay. if I kind of make a mini table wrapping a couple of uh, test schema items or super tags, mm -hmm. um, it seems like if I were to say then put like a property of quality and status level, even if I'm referring to another, even if I'm referring to another place, I end up with the qualifiers as part of the super tag itself. I, I think there's a way I've seen around that. Do you know what that is? Like what I the- don't, I don't I don't really understand your 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 okay. Question. I'll use uh, what you have on screen in front of me as easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if I were to personally make like a hashtag day, will you go back to where you were? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh this one, the calendar. Okay. Doesn't really matter as long as yeah, as long oh, as you yeah. keep something on yeah. Um if I were to say make like, you know, a hashtag source DDV schema template, it seems like for me when I make like tags created time last modified. That's mm -hmm. now part of the actual super tag. So if I were wanting to, you know, be like hashtag book later on, I'd have tags created time, last modified time. No, look, look what we have here. Uh, when, when yeah. Oh, I, you're doing it better than me. I get it. I'm just saying, like, how do I do it right? Uh, mm, what you, you can do different stuff, right? Uh, yeah. We are, we are not adding this. Uh, at the um, super tag level, we are yeah. adding we are adding this uh, at the view at the table view level. 
you know so this is some kind of some some like like a contextual you know uh, information uh, just to provide that scaffolding structure for to understand the super attack but it's not inside the super yeah what i'm asking mechanically how do i add that scaffolding without accidentally yeah. adding adding it to the super tag that's what i'm doing wrong here ah uh, thank you my friend that's what i needed add you, contextual column. you have okay. add column and add contextual column that's okay. what i'm screwing up thank you okay greatly okay, appreciated yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. That's why I, yeah. Let me quickly jump in. The, the contextual col column is sure. basically some, something that's stored only inside this view and it's, you know, it, yeah. it's only inside one view. Yeah, so you, you don't drag it, you know, throughout of all of your space, workspace, you just see it here. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you could do like all sorts of agile voting on that and that, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yeah, yeah, the, and there's plenty of, people talking within the Slack even community uh, with uh, how to use the contextual, you know, uh, which is pretty useful for many things, not just for the um, schema structure. Uh, imagine that you are providing feedback, uh, you know, because you are doing a review for some uh, database and yeah. so on. You don't want to clutter uh, the, uh, the source with your feedback and so on, you know, you are just you know, adding that uh, as a, contextual, which is the word that they used. Uh, yeah, pardon uh, the interruption. What you're doing here is brilliant. Thank you again. No, no, no. Uh, uh, thank you to you. Uh, so here uh, you will add um, uh, the pink ones are the system fields, you know, are those ones that uh, Tana is providing, you know, and uh, you are not creating. And then you will find other uh, fields that you have Created. I will go. I will jump there um, uh, in 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 few seconds. So here we have that example. Uh, this is my my schema. It's longer than this. This is just a demo. Uh, you can even add here those super tags that you are using. These are the default ones, right? Uh, day, uh, week, year. Uh, but you could and I just created, let's say, a folder which is called calendar. You know. But then I have a folder which is called resource. And here I have a subfolder within that folder, which is called source, but I could have even more different types of resources. I could have another type of resource, which is, I don't know, some kind of knowledge base or whatever, you know? And then some objects, because remember that it's, this is based on the object oriented programming, uh, but uh, if you want, don't want to use that, don't use it, uh, you know. This is just the way that you think that it's useful for you to understand how your different super tags are organized, nothing else. So here I have a source. And as you can see here, I have a super tag called source. If I click it, control uh, uh, left uh, click with your mouse and have your super tag. Okay. Uh, but as you can see here, the first column called tax um, always include this uh, referenced um, uh, super tag, which is called super tag. This is a, 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 a system uh, super tag. Uh, you, I have not created it. It's automatically created once you uh, uh, include that uh, field called tax. So don't worry about this. But as you can see here, when you create another super tag which extends, let's see how to do this. Uh, this book super tag extends the source, which is you can do it just clicking extend, and then you find the uh, you find uh, the super tag that you want to add here. Okay, so I chose source. And this is extending everything that it's within that super tag, uh, plus uh, those additional characteristics or attributes that you want to add as a, an additional layer, you know, and so on. So those layers are um, visualized through this column here. So I here it's a quite uh, simple way to see. Uh, which is the inheritance uh, between uh, this super tag or this. Uh, I see that keyword is based on source, a book is based on source, 
but then I, even I could have some of them that are based on more than one, you know? Uh, I, I don't remember if here I had some example of this, but probably I had it in another place. So if we jump into another category, annotation. Uh, David, can, uh, sorry, can I uh, again jump in with a question? Of because course. I think that was like important thing. Okay, could you please go back to this, uh, uh, to the resources uh, node? So basically, let's imagine the scenario. I'm like a new person to Tana and I want to use this template and I go and I see a lot of stuff, probably half of them I don't need. Maybe, you know, I don't need mm -hmm. to first, right? So right. for example, I don't, I don't listen to podcasts, let's say, or, you know, I don't use Zotero. How do you recommend like to... Uh, to deal with the template. So should I, first I put it in my playground or lab, and then what should I do? I should take the tags, which, which I find useful and gradually move them to my workspace. What yeah. is the general kind this of- is, This is what uh, I have explained here within the, the template. Let's go. Thank you for guiding me because sometimes I get uh, lost within my own uh, wild forest, you know, um, which is quite, uh, easy to to get lost like this <laughs> um uh here how to start using it you know this is so these are the four steps first one copy these notes which ones i suggest you but it depends on how you feel some people prefers to uh take as a reference something that it's uh, um, an example, a real one, and some others, they feel more confident if the template that they are using, it's quite neutral, okay? It depends. M myself, uh, I always feel more comfortable when the source that I'm using as a template, it's neutral rather than an example, you know? So I, I use the example to understand but if I want to create something uh, on, on top of uh, a resource, I should use something that, I would like to use something that it's neutral, you know? But no matter how, uh, what I added here, it's that example, which is what I would not do, uh, you know? Because I consider that probably most of people, especially the beginners or something, they feel more, uh, reliable with some example rather than a neutral one, which is that one that I showed you before, which is super tag B111, B112, blah, 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 which probably for some people that's interesting to understand which is the structure behind this, you know? So it's up to you. Uh, but the idea is that you start, uh, let me jump again. But I like how you how you place it like, uh, you know, basically don't be afraid to delete, modify. I think this is also like a, uh, like a very good advice because when you get this templates and, you know, all templates, I, I think most of them are very, very complicated. Or rather, not very complicated, but rather complicated. So I would say, don't be afraid to delete stuff. You know, you, you can always, uh, you know, yeah. go back to template and copy it back. So at first, you know, don't find yourself overwhelmed, but rather, you know, delete things. You say, oh, this is kind of, you know, looks looks uh, kind of redundant, though that's not for me. So don't be afraid to delete them and, you know, create some kind of, you know, basically your version of this template, very uh, cut, uh, like like your your cut, sort of your your take on this. And then if you find, oh, looks like I need this uh, from uh, the template, you can always get back to it and copy it back. So there's there's not a chance that you lose it. Exactly, so. play. Uh, the good thing is that you can play with things that are totally uh, disconnected from sources, you know, uh, and then, Play because playing you will feel more confident and uh, you will uh, 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 after that uh, you know you will make better decisions you know otherwise in Tara at the same time it's very easy to clutter everything and this is this is true uh, you know but it, this is not a problem if w w when you, you, you when you do that uh, you are doing it uh, in a lab workspace you know. Uh, for example, all of us, we are, let's say, somehow in a lab, 
because it's Tana, it's in an early access, right? <laughs> so <laughs> it's our own, uh, you know, uh, risk to use uh, this for uh, further purposes. Of course, this is um, uh, th 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 this is uh, your decision. It's up to you. So, David, building uh, on that, um, yeah, I think I have a question that would be pretty impactful for folks on the call. If anybody here is looking through their Tana workspace, they can find their schema easily. So they can take either the templates you're providing here or the methodology and go to war with there is a super tag items. Yeah. Where my question is, is when I look at has a, and I see the way, this is brilliant, by the way, that you've laid out the attributes of the properties that you would have in here. Um, forgive me if I use any notion, you know, lingo, I'm a refugee from yeah, that. Yeah, no, no worries. But the has a items, David, where do you get that comprehensive list to go to war with those? Because scheme mm -hmm. is laid out for you. You got those. Your has a items, though, those are kind of in yeah. the wild. How do you yeah. bring them all to a central point yeah. and go at uh, it? So this is, uh, you, you don't start building this from the scratch. as a Oh, I know. As a bottom-up thing. Of course not. Uh, Wait, how, what? How, how, how you will end up having a list like this, you know? Uh, you will start having a list like this once you are working and you identify common attributes, you know? But because I, oh, just, yeah. I just place here the, the, the ones that are common uh, and belong to more than one super tag. This is also explained within the template. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I... The, but, but probably you're already uh, 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 aware of What, I'm, of what this. I'm saying is, can you, like, somebody can look at their schema and put yours alongside and then they can make decisions about that. What I'm saying is, is, is there anywhere in TANA, either natively or queryable, that you yeah. can say, okay, here are all of my attributes, and I can look at those alongside what David's done and kind of go to war with those. Uh, you mean like show all of your fields that's exactly. available? Exactly. Get a list of those, just like you got schema, because we can get an is a list anytime we want by looking at our schema, but I don't know how to get a has a list right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh there's a way to show this, if I'm not wrong. Uh, Andrew, you can uh, also yeah, I... complement me, which is uh, a live search for um, uh, showing you all of your uh, uh, all of your uh, tags, you know, mm. um, and then create a table in which you add the different attributes that they will show up there on your. Uh, uh, drop down uh, list, you know, and then you have a table in which you can manage everything there as well. But this is one way that I, now I am thinking on. But look, I, I, I don't, I, I didn't have that need uh, to do this, but probably it's something quite uh, helpful for others, you know. Um, it, it, in, in my experience, this is something that it's totally. Uh, 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 um, it, it's living. It, it's a living uh, note, you know. It's always changing. Uh, not every day, but it's always uh, uh, changing because um, some field that you thought that it was uh, common suddenly, you know, uh, it just belonged to one single super tag, or because you decided to split one super tag and so on. And then, so no, no matter how. Um, you end up with this, you will move it from here, you will. So I, I think that I understand why you are asking this. It's just probably to have, okay, I don't even know what the hell I have created during the last three weeks. <laughs> because exactly I, have the feeling of, I have the feeling of a mess and I want to see everything that I've created in terms of fields, okay? Well, so that was an idea. Uh, just create a table, listing all your tags, and then uh, um, uh, just uh, showing up as columns uh, the different things that you have. Uh, but also, but, but, there, is, uh, yeah. there is a search that called is tag. Is there like is, uh, is field, something like this? I mean, this is not a search. Is, this is basically the system parameter. Can, can, you, can, can you try it? Yeah, it's... Let, me, let me go because there's... Uh, I don't want... Where was that thing? Ah, here. This is quite interesting. Yeah, let me actually try this quick real quick. Yeah, look. 
I don't remember this one. Huge. No, where was this? I see, see uh, I see Theo's got a uh, uh, comment that may help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to use the system field data type. Set this comment. Data type set. Well, let's try. Well, uh, please share your screen and, 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 and jump there. Yeah. yeah, Theo, if you could jump in and, and share. Yeah, yeah. Your... probably it easier, right? It would be really easier. Are you up to it? Ah, sorry, can do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Let's jump here. Or Andrew, you want to, sh to already share um, your I, screen? I, I, I just tried, uh, I just tried it. Um, yeah, me too. Yeah, in just a second. So there will be. I see there is a parameter which called fields to display, a list of attributes to display, but I think that should be related to uh, this super tag. Can you, Theo, can you jump in just, you know, using your voice and guide us <laughs> how to do yeah. it? Yeah. Um, because I'm trying the same thing, but probably, we should share a screen or something. Otherwise, the uh, people I can started. jump in. I can jump in quickly with my voice. Yeah. Um, so I, I sent a screenshot in Slack in the Slack uh, oh. jump channel, so you can uh, see it there. But yeah. you, you basically have to use the system field uh, that's called data uh, type. Data type. I didn't know. It. And then also set huh. the workspace that you want to look inside okay. of. So, like, if you only use the data type set, you will find all fields throughout your whole Tana, but you also have to set the, the, the workspace. Good, which is very useful. I didn't know this. That's why Andrew created Tana Jams. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try to do it. I, I honestly think it should be quite, like it should be more simple. There should be a SQL yeah, well, search not operator. Not bad, so. not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. But, but 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 look. Um, Thank you. How do you? Uh, I don't actually. I can't. Uh, I can't use it there to type. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> so so. Maybe is it in Tana Lab? Maybe. No. Wait. Um, David, uh, were you, were you able to? Uh, let me try. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. Check if I can. Okay. Uh, making a note, right? Search. And here. I suspect this is something that's identified that probably ought to be part of like some kind of scheme of you or something on those lines. Because over time, if somebody's willing to stay up a little bit late on a Friday night, a little coffee or Mountain Dew, they can fix their schema. But their properties are going to slowly get away from them over time if there's not an easy way to just look at them. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Uh, I, 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 as, as I can see, I cannot find this uh, field as well. But yeah, I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't know it. I don't know, Theo. What, what do you have? Yeah, yeah that's weird. It's like, uh, yeah. 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 Cool. It should show up. I'm, I'm but, but, check, so. but I, I would like to add to Kyle because this is a quite interesting uh, question for me, right? So, um, well, imagine that you have that 
uh, attribute or um, no matter how you end up with that list of the, the whole set of fields that you have, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure that that list itself is useful enough. You, you, you need the context for each of those fields to understand what to do with them, you know? Uh, should I remove it? Should I merge it with another? Uh, should I uh, upgrade it? Should I do something? So I need the context for each of those. Uh, You're correct. And it'd be good to have, and the thing is though, I don't even have the opportunity to be confused if I don't have the list. Yeah, but but you can you can have the, the whole picture of all of them, or you can go through them through the use of the super tags, which is at the end uh, the, the sure the, they're there. The, the, con the context, the context. So you are surfing the fields through the different contexts that are like grouping them, you know? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do have a top-down structure. That's fair. Okay, I think we should go to the Slack after this and ask about this da data type thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 the finally. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's really weird that uh, Theo were able to, uh, was able to uh, access it and we didn't. I think that that's really, that that's definitely worth investigation. <laughs> But wow, I think we uh, we yeah yeah I, I didn't have anything else to to to, to and sorry because I consumed a lot of minutes and uh, uh, Andrew you You're also the presenter good lord no worries yeah it's, it's the presenter fine. we always uh, we always try to, <laughs> it's just uh, yeah we we. Uh, we actually went to, to Jam, so that was the purpose, right? <laughs> At the end. So that was cool. Okay, guys, do you have any questions or maybe suggestions before we wrap it up? David, I did want to ask, um, you had a lot of contextual fields throughout, now that I understand what those are. Is there some way to kind of bring contextual fields to bear sort of like a parenthesis super tag? given you can't use a super tag there, or do you just recreate them quickly where you need them? You, you, you meant uh, like creating uh, existing pre-existing pre contextual fields? Well, let's say you kind of have like a table you like, yeah. a, a contextual field table around the super tags like you did there. And then you want to have three or four other nodes within the schema that also kind of look the same for ranking purposes or tracking purposes mm -hmm. you can't um do you is there some way to just kind of quickly reproduce that table in the other three or four places or do you just have to rebuild it each time which i guess isn't the end of the world in my opinion if you want to achieve that because probably there's a clear goal using it right yeah let, let's a review or feedback or there's an action behind that right uh sure so uh, create a super tech you know okay uh, so the idea yeah. is, to, uh, if, if I can know, bring super tags to bear in the schema just fine. I've never done that. It's probably just a mental block. Yeah. So so the idea is always to to think on um, is a something, and is is a something doesn't mean that it's not an action. Uh, many of those super tags are actions, you know. But is an action or is a um, apple? Okay. So can a super tag the, contain a contextual field and deploy it though? The super, I, the super tech, uh, if I understood what you meant, is that you always want to uh, have like a s satellite, a, a, a contextual field following that super tech. Uh, is that? Because the, 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 the contextual field is for, um, it's something that it's especially designed, in my understanding, to add uh, information, not to the super tech level, to the node level, no matter yeah. if it's if it's stacked or not, you know. Uh, that's why when when you want to show your node in a table view or yeah, it's it's for table view and also list. You know, there are the ways to show the the contextual uh, information, uh, right? So I don't see the relationship between the super tag and the contextual field. But, but what I see is that if you are always using very often a contextual uh, layer, turn that contextual layer into a regular one. Uh, mm, and sure. then probably uh, you have to think on which uh, would be that super tag 
that discovering. Uh, David, I think I'm asking you a different question than your answer. Yeah, what I meant is what you showed earlier was you had like three or four nodes within the way you'd set up your template. And each of those nodes had like the same con set of contextual uh, fields in them. Mm -hmm. All I'm asking is like, is there some quick way to just say, boom, lay out those th four contextual fields on a node in there so you don't have to like do it three or four times? That's all I'm asking. It, it's a it's a nuts and bolts question, not let's a philosophical. Try, let, let, let's try. Let's try it. Maybe right. it's just uh just have like a node, like a template node, call it like you know template node, and then just copy paste it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That was on top. Because in the end, it's something that uh, you just want to add it as a satellite, uh, as something complementary. You know, um, yeah. and this is this is uh, if I can, this is a good uh, example. Uh, actually, which is, if I can show you this, um, module or a snippet. So, uh, I mean, how to use template, right? Uh, which is the David, purpose of- would you be yeah. willing to just put on screen what you showed before that same view yeah. when I was asking about the contextual notes? Because that'll, we can solve this one or not solve it real fast. Yeah. Is what you're asking? Can you make a make a template out of the view? Is that what exactly. you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, right here where you've got your contextual fields. Yeah. It, all I'm saying is like, can you make a? Oh, wait, where'd they go? Can you keep that on screen? I think that'll be crucial to the question yeah, yeah. I'm asking. I, all I'm asking here, David, is tags created time last modified references DDV. I'm just saying, is there a way, let's say you were going to want to apply that same structure to another 20 nodes here in your overall architecture. Is there some way to make yeah. a template out of the contextual get, setup? Get, get link to node, and then you clone this. And that's all. And, and, and you are, cool. you are uh, but this is what the template is uh, M2. Uh, what, what, what I am providing within this, with this template, it's the, you don't need to pick this from the scratch. You will already will have this this table, you know, um, with this. So yeah, yeah but, but I get uh, but I get the Kyle's question because I also like sometimes I have like a view and I need the same view and I say oh I, I don't want to like do it yeah. again. So yeah, yeah. I, I I'm I'm with you on that, Kyle. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think but right now this. Feature is quite limited within Tana, in my opinion, as well, because I would like also to have, as in probably Notion and other systems, right? Uh, I can uh, have uh, my predefined views, even adding a name, a version, or whatever, you know, and then I can use those views for other. Uh, but look, those views. Yeah, that's a good example, Notion. Yeah. But, but, but those views are based on a particular set of properties that's using uh, now using notion uh, you know <laughs> vocabulary right but set of fields you know that probably in other uh, super tags you will not find them you know so view, views are always field related because here i have contextual ones but i could have also uh, super tag related ones and then if you are uh, storing that view you will find some kind of, let's say, unknown or referenced or something, you know, because it's uh, based on another super tag. So I, I, I think it's not so, well, they, they could build something like this, uh, you know, but it's not as obvious, in my opinion. No. So now, so now, so now the, 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 you, you just go here, uh, get link to node. And you go to another place. I don't know which one, whatever. And Control K, clone. Yeah. And you already have this. And if you want to remove all this, you remove it. And you can also modify. Uh, you can also modify uh, the query, right? Yes. 
So you basically can, uh, yeah, here you can just- Well, here, there, there, there's no query here. Oh, it's not uh, query, yeah, sorry. There's yeah, no query yeah. because it's just a, a simple table. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the ones that you can modify are these ones, but this is the purpose of these ones are just to uh, list everything that is stacked with that yeah. particular category, that's all. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But also if the view is a query, I think you can have this uh, like a query node and then do exactly this to clone it to the different place. And then in the live query, you will change the tag and you still yeah. would uh, use yeah, yeah, the, exactly. yeah, yeah. Uh, the same representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, you see, yeah. yeah. Okay, wow, I think we were a bit over time. So yeah, wow, David, that was really, really interesting. There's a lot, a yeah. lot of things, you know, <laughs> to just. Uh, sorry, guys. sorry, guys. Uh, so, sometimes right. I I get lost in that wild forest, and probably it's not uh, as clear as I would awesome. like to to be. But worries. That that was awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. And I think we definitely got to need uh, to do a second part on the templates because sure. because I think there's a lot to cover there. And yeah, let's do, let's do it next next Tuesday. I will I will post everything in uh, in the Gem channel. David, if you could join next Tuesday, it will be also awesome because yeah, I would really really interested to uh, have your feedback on my template because I will I will also have a week just to finish it. So that's also nice. And yeah, so uh, let's do uh, let's do it next week. Uh, Andrew, you have a question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe a suggestion with that. Um, I'm probably a little more at the basic level. And one of the problems that I've had with templates, um, if I, I guess I don't know enough about workspaces, but if I choose a template that has a, that uses days, a calendar, basically, oh, yeah. the new mm -hmm. workspaces don't, I have to somehow create a calendar inside a workspace. So maybe if you could talk something about that when you sure yeah we, we will cover it yeah on the next time definitely yeah thank yeah. you thank you well thank you for and, asking this and that will uh i will write it down and we'll definitely go through it thank you okay well again thank you so much and uh see you next week next tuesday thank you it's awesome thanks thank you guys bye. have a nice week bye bye